Before leaving to seek my grandfather's gold mine, Sweetheart, and Stonehill on the Brahma River, I sat with my mother Agnes, her brother Uncle Clarence, who were both born in Oakland Grand on the Palm Road River, to learn what I could, to understand where we came from, and gain a sense of direction. Yes, he was called Papa. So when your Papa died, do you remember this occasion? Yeah, I remember, yes, when he died. He had, he had traveled up to Georgetown for the treatment because he had injured it himself. And he had to go to the hospital in Georgetown. And um, he didn't last very long. I think it was January. Feb February, I think he died. Yeah. When? February, February, I think he died. In 1932. And um, I remember we were all down there wandering. And um, and then I think it was Uncle Lenny, was it? I know, that, I that saw brought, Uncle brought the Lenny news. weeping. I imagine, I think they yes, said... Yes, he, he brought the news. Uh, that, uh, I think it came by telephone to the police. I, yes. I guess the telegraphs were closed, must have been a weekend or something. Mm. But he must have received the, the, the news at charity. Yeah. And he came down to tell us. I could I could still see him like this day going to the portrait of Papa on the wall, that famous portrait. Mm -hmm. And I could still remember my brother, my brother. I could remember that. But I didn't care too much. No, I, that... I, I saw everybody being so upset, but I was just looking at I, I don't think we even cried. No, I didn't cry. We were so young. But I knew the grief. Even yeah. East Indian people, Jogma, they came and they sat on the floor, like huddled in grief, you know. Mm -hmm. It was terrible, it was terrible. But um, I mean, Mama was in town doing her own grief. Yeah, she traveled up to town with him. She saw him die. Yes, I remember. Um, she said she screamed. When she got back there, she wept. Oh gosh, it was. I think it stayed with me to this day. Our grief never left me. Mm -hmm. Like, I was sorry for myself, I was sorry for her. You yeah, know, that type of thing. I remember, I remember saying, um, what am I going to do? You know, yeah. because um, she was a young woman. She was not. She, she was not yet thirty-six. She was thirty-five and a half. Some people were even surprised that she wasn't pregnant again because she was getting yeah. these babies so rapidly. But she wasn't pregnant. Cell was fourteen months old. Mm -hmm. So she uh, we had to stay with Lucy. Was uh, or we didn't say babysitter in those days. Where did you learn about your father then after that? Well, stories told by our mother, by people who knew him. Yeah. Men, you know, work, who worked for him. They as, loved him. As laborers. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They would, would say, you know, as a boy, your father was great, was a wonderful man, or words that affected Yeah, him. that type of thing, yeah, yeah. But I, I would re regretted, you know, not, not knowing him because. As little as I was, I, I knew he, you know, he was a good man, he was a good, nice man. Yes, well, he got involved with Gould, I guess, because he he wasn't earning enough on the farm. He Every was, young uh, man dreamed of Gould. Yes. Yeah. And um, he actually was introduced to it by a man, a, a black labor type, called Adonis. And the Ado Adonis guy took him to the... He's the guy who died? Yes. Oh, I didn't know that part And Adonis joined him, was a oh, right-hand man. That's very good. And he, during the operation they had after the Brahma, they had a spit. Just a, just a, a hole in the ground. And the men would go down there and, and excavate and, and find rocks, you know, which would be gold bearing. And um, this Adonis was down there, and he started like on the on the mining the thing, you know, not shoring up the the hole he was boring, the horizontal hole, and he went further and further in, finding more and more gold bearing rocks, I suppose. Until the, the old thing caved in on him. So did you do you remember those rocks that you brought? Yes. They were beautiful. Gold. I wish you had it now. Spots of gold. Beautiful, in wonderful it. white rocks of gold. And I guess most of them would. You probably had first mm. break with them to get the gold. <laughs> he died. Yeah. And, and there's a little story uh, to that too. 
when he died, my father apparently did all he could for the family because they were poor he people. He had a mother, yeah. And he apparently paid all the money he could afford, he had. And um, a certain man that we know very well was urging the family of this Baldonis to kind of a sue, press for more money, which my father didn't have. He explained that to them, and, and apparently people accepted it. But um, this man who was urging them to sue my father, things went sour with him after a while, and he wanted money too. He wanted help. And he came to our father. I don't know if you know this part of the story. No, I don't know that part. Yes, and he came to my father for a loan. And my father gave him the loan. And people afterwards asked him why. I mean, how, how come he could help that guy who was trying to do him in, you know? And he said, well, I was lucky I had the money and he needed help. So I helped him. That was, a, that was a real Christian man. Yeah. <laughs> Never saw one like that. Yeah. So as children, now to go back to the gold thing, he would have to leave you to go to do this thing. What was that like? What was the, the well, preparation like? What did you see? Do you remember? trip, I remember. The, 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 um, six weeks. Six weeks for a trip. And there, there was a great big bateau. Bateau is a, is a boat. It's not a French song in the name. Sword, yeah. And the name was Lady Lucy, do you remember? Lady Lucy? Yeah. Lady Lucy. Because our mother's name was, Lu was Lucille. Lucille. Or Lu Lu Lucia in Portuguese. Yeah. And there was lotus boat with all kind of things. Rations they used to Food, call. biscuits, cassava yeah. bread and mm. all this stuff. And I, I remember pumpkins, great big pumpkins like that being taken because in Barama there's no, no fruit was the going there. It was wild country. But you know, although, although although he was a good Christian and all that, they had this superstition that traveling with pumpkin is, is unlucky. Yeah. But to, 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 to remove this problem, you, you, you had to cut across on the pumpkin, there was a knife. I really remember, remember the pumpkin, that? but I didn't, I didn't know about to cut any crust. Yes, I had to cut, <laughs> take a, a cutlass as a knife and, and, and cut a, in the skin of the pumpkin. And then it became okay again. What a disgust. It's a Christian pumpkin now. <laughs> 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 what, else, what else did he carry? Well, flour and biscuits and... I think a bit of salted meat and salt salted meat. Salted meat, oh yes, yeah. absolutely, because they they they, 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 they had a cook, you know, the, the camp, had yeah, a camp I cook. Know. And he had to have his, his supplies, meat, salt, pickled beef as one, well, and pork, peas, pork, peas. and peas. They used to say that rice and peas are rice peas and, and rice. Now, I also know, years ago, you got me to get you a recording, um, uh, kind of a body recording, an old thing. I forget the name, Miller, maybe they... But in any case, uh, I got it for you from YouTube. And you told me your father used to have it. To entertain to these enter gold diggers. Yes. Yes. Tell okay, me about I remember that. that. How did he entertain them? Did he take records up? You remember? It is black. Yeah, the crunk, crunk. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, um, that was, uh, was, was all the... Well, that's why they loved him, because I remember, you remember the, the, the little 70s? Yes. And he had real high taste. He had hymns. He had all kinds mm. of classical roses in Picardy. Mm. Really, really. But then he bought the body ones for the pretty pope knockers. Conga Bahara, Conga Bahara, judge and jury, try me for more. <laughs> <laughs> Get them there to paddle, yeah? Oh, well, they would sing this. They could play this thing as they paddle? Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah because yes. it's just a little wind up. It was electrical. No. It was a manual thing as yeah. you wound up. But well, we had a nice, a, we had a nice Victor, what did you call it, the, the old gramophone. A Victor. It was a nice one. Victrola. But, yeah, but the one that traveled with was a little black one. Mm, yes. And these, yeah. And, he, and, and Calypso was about, you know, boarding policemen. And, uh, and they had a, in those years, they had a, 
Westerns here called um, Jimmy Rogers. Jimmy Rogers, Jimmy yes, Rogers. Uh, Jimmy Rogers. He was yeah. popular yeah. then. And um, he sang various songs, uh, yeah, yeah, he yeah. sent it. Yeah. Now, the Portuguese are noted for playing the guitar and all that kind of nonsense. Did he ever play any music instruments, you know? I never. No, I knew it. But... I, I don't remember him playing anything at all. I mean, I don't think he. Maybe the opportunity didn't come. Maybe that was the time. Yeah, yeah. Because he, he worked like a brute. Um, so how, many, all... how many men would be going, do you know? How many, how many people would he carry? Oh, quite a little number of them. I don't know, because I'm, I'm going by the size of the boat. And they all had to be advanced because they had families. Yeah. And they would go away for six weeks, but they had to... Um, my father had to advance money to them so they could leave money with their wives and women to, to carry on while they were in, in, away. So it was all done on trust, you know, that those yeah, men could so have... so much trust, yeah. ...take the money and go and, 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 and disappear. But they didn't. They, they, they were honest men. And then when he sold the gold, they would line up again yes. at, at the gate to, 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 to get them to the get balance. So the balance. Let's, let's start. We're at the beginning of the trip. All these men, he's paid their um, to, so their wives can maintain for six weeks. Mm. And then he proceeds to go to Brahma. Now mm. tell me, how did he get to Brahma? How far is Brahma? How long take? Do you know any, have any idea where the, you know, how to get there? You were telling me. Well... I, I don't know the precise number of days, but they took days, I know. And it was very um, involved way to get there, leaving where we were our base in the bomb room. We went down river, we were about 20 miles from the Atlantic. I had to go right down river into the Atlantic. River mouth, we call it. Uh, out the, into the sea, into the ocean. And then go about five miles northwest because the, the coast of Pomeroon is northwest, southeast. And then the Maruka River mouth would appear. And then you turn into the Maruka and go south, which is the direction of the river then. And you go to a place called, you still have to go to a place called Aquero. We're a convent. <clears throat> the, the Catholic Church had a convent there, Indian. and the church. And um, go beyond. They had to go beyond Akuro, and then go, go into a tributary of the of the Maruka called the Bayara. And it went up that as far as it went, and then they. they the terrain became a swamp. And you had to go into this swamp and find a, a tributary of the Whiny River. The, 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 the tributary of the, of the Morocco was called the Bayara. And then they eventually got to connect to a tributary of the Whiny called the Barabara. Barra. And then you got into the Whiny proper. The main river, <clears throat> and then you have to go some distance up river again to go to the Barama. Is this water deep and easily navigated, or is, are they are there boats like? A well, this is important too to know because in the dry season, it wasn't. It was very dangerous, and rocks, mm -hmm. which is what caused our dad's death, because he he, he was steering the boat with a huge paddle, uh, called a, a sweep with a like an oar, yeah. And uh, this big, great big paddle hit a rock. And the handle, the, 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 the handle of the thing hit him somewhere in the stomach there, and apparently damaged his liver, and, and, and that's how he died. Well, that was it. I mean, it's quite a long way. It, it, it took several days, I imagine. And then they got to the, what they call the camp, the camp on the Barama there, which was, his first camp was a place called Stone Hill. Remember here? Stone Hill. Stone Hill. Yeah. And then he, he found, an, uh, he went to another place and he found a place, 
and he named it Sweetheart. And she, that's the time when she was born. And he was lucky, he found some gold there. And he always called her his sweetheart daughter because she brought luck. <laughs> I he found nuggets. Right. You, you know that, did you? Yeah. 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 And you worked there until he, he died. And Now, who else joined him now? Because now he's got all these workers with him himself. Did his brothers join in or anybody mm, else no. in the family? No. Actually, there's a little story later on. When he died, my mother, of course, poor lady, she, she had no idea what to do with it. And that same Uncle Lenny came and told her that he would go up and, 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 and run the business, you know. But it didn't work out because... Well, do any? Uncle Lenny, as I recall, wasn't... He was the alcoholic. He was, drunk, alcoholic. he was drunk. He couldn't do anything. I could remember Uncle Lenny. This is, by the way... Years and years ago, when all this wife and this and that, he was drunk coming to us and because all he wanted a handout and telling me as a little girl, oh, he, when he's going to go up and look for diamonds and he's going to bring me a diamond. I said, well, my uncle hasn't given anybody a diamond. Talk about diamonds. My father had uh, made a ring, a, a big diamond in it. I don't know if he found it. But um, you know that, that, um, when my father died, my our mother had a ring, and Lenny came to her, and he told her a story. He said, "You know, Dude had said that he would leave that ring for me oh dear, poor if, if he died any time." And the lamb that my mother was, she gave it to really? him, an expensive diamond ring. And very shortly after, we learned that he had pawned it. Well, of course. <laughs> what a guy. It's his brother's ring. Anyway. He, couldn't, he, was, he was a smart fellow, but he couldn't do anything because the alcohol took over. Yes. He, he, he now, was. over the years, um, did other family members get involved? In, like, like, what happened to the sweetheart mine? Oh, yes. Yeah. Well, one last try to give a, a brother of ours, an older brother called Manuel. <laughs> Most Portuguese are named. Yeah, there, there are other ones. Um, brother or is he a, not a brother-in-law? Uh, no, a brother of her, her brother. Oh, oh come on, but he oh, was most in there. Granny, uh, Lucia's yeah. brother. Yes. Matt. Yes. Oh, yeah. <coughs> Uncle Joe's brother. <coughs> yes, and he, he went up there. But he had no experience in the kind of thing. You know, he was a very... He had no initiative. No, no, no initiative either. Mm -hmm. he, he went up there. Uh, maybe for one trip, or maybe two, but he he wasn't managing things as properly. He could have taken charge of it as far too. Yes. Yeah, but the, the opportunity was so my mother, um, yeah. decided that she would sell the business out, and the gentleman named Van Slightman, Timothy. Timothy. Timothy yeah. Van <laughs> I like that name, Timothy. I remember he came. And he told her why he was there. He was interested in, in buying this thing. And he paid her, um, he offered her $2,000. <laughs> That's like a lot. For all this thing. I mean, there was machinery there. You know, there was a something called a crusher to reduce the, 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 the rocks to a smaller size so that it could be put through the auto process, which was a a stamp mill that, that, that pulverized the rock, and then it would go through the process of. Um, you know how that word I remember almost, hearing. I'm saying the stamp. stamp mill, mm -hmm. yes. And that, when that, when the rocks were powdered, they passed through another process, and that separated the gold from the, the dust from the sand and whatnot. Do you remember your father acquiring any of this machinery? Well, yes. Um, he had raised a loan. From some relatives, from some uncles of his. That is his famous CJ and AJ de Silva. You know them? You heard of oh, them? I heard enough about them. Uh, he had uh, um, go take, take the loan from them and uh, give them a, a note for it, promising to pay back uh, with interest, so much percentage or whatever. And when he died, these 
he, 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 he had already paid him back because my mother knew and yeah. his good friend Flavio knew. Yeah. But he, he didn't, he had such a <coughs> uh, trust. trust in these uncles that, that they wouldn't do anything like that. But he didn't ask back for this note that he'd given them. And when he died, they promptly presented the note to my mother and, and demanded to be paid again. But she said, it is paid. And they said, no, oh, we got a paper. We got a paper to, 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 to prove. So she went to, went to court. And she, she got a lot. I remember the, the Shanklin. Shanklin? Oh, yes, I already wrote Shanklin. Shanklin. Yes, Shanklin. Um, this is the lawyer that she chose. Imagine all that grief you have to go looking for a lawyer. Yes. And, um, and the judge was sympathetic. He said, he said, Madam, there's this note. And according to law, the money was due because the people were holding it. So she had to pay again. So we, we were sh robbed. There was nobody that she could. I mean, she had two brothers, but they were, they were so inept. They were mm. good. Not anybody you could run to to say, please tell us what to do or anything. No, yeah, she had to pay. And so we, we paid again. Now, he died, and then Granny and you children uh, had to manage to grow grow up. Yes, well. And and what did he leave to provide and, and how did you, how did did Barama help? Not much at all because he um, left money for each of us to one mama left, said she wouldn't touch it, to remember? Yes, he, he left a little you remember when they when she called us together and said we're gonna have to do something to make a living and decide to do I T grocery store? Yes. Did you remember that yes. historical moment? Yes, yes. yes. Tell me about that moment. Remember that? All I could remember vaguely, I don't I think maybe Uncle Manny was there. He knew a bit about grocery stores. and But I could remember that. And she, she decided she was going to get a little place uh, from Grandpa to rent. And she mm -hmm. went to Georgetown and she made contact with H.B. Gadraj. Mm -hmm. Remember? Oh, that would be so respected, that, that widowed mm -hmm. lady. And she, uh, every two weeks they would ship us in the steamer so many bags mm -hmm. of flour, sugar, and we, we set up shop. So these guys, we used to call them the big boys. They weren't big at all, but to <laughs> us, they were big. Mm -hmm. The big boys would take turns um, minding the shop before they go to school, yes. and minding the shop after they came so, from school. 12 year old, 11 year old. Yeah, yeah. And, um, and we used to... Um, there is uh, Mom and Gina, struggling, well, of course, um, Gina used to help with the cooking, and we still have to keep house over. Oakland, you know, clean on Saturday, make sugar cake to sell us. Um, How did that Saturday. experience serve you as you grew up, though, to have to, to run a little shop when you're little and all this responsibility you have? To this day, I can tell you how something we <laughs> Believe me, I can, you know. Yeah. Like a pound. Like, and I will have a good idea. Remember on Saturday, the people used to, to put in black, um, the, the sugar and, 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 st and salt and so in a brown paper package, and used to kinds of them, you know. No, but it, well, I mean, it, it taught me something that I wasn't. Whatever we get in this world, we can work for. Never had any feeling that anybody would come along. Mm. And like, I never like when somebody die, I never think what they leave or anything. I that, and there's just one thing: all of these, the rest of the boys, we're gonna have to work, and we're gonna have to be decent. Mm -hmm. And that's all there was. Don't sit here and wring your hands and say, oh, that's poor nice. me, nobody like nobody else. Nobody loved me, nobody cared for me. We didn't have to think about that. You went right on. Survive. You worked. Yeah, work, work, work. work. Uh, another little thing, I don't know if I told you this before, uh, Greg, that when my father died, he had already owned, he had negotiated um, with his father, our grandfather, to be an equal shareholder of the coffee plantation, which was a, a big thing. There was 90 acres of coffee. And they had machinery, all the machinery, all the drying equipment. 
And I think he had paid off the others because unbelievable was living on her own place. Mary was, Johnny was, he was this. and then he had nothing. And um, when my father died, that grandfather called her and he said, Luz, Lucia, Dod owed me $360. And he got her, he, he told her that he would forget the debt if she would transfer back the half share of that plantation. And poor thing, she was so confused and whatnot that she said yes. So we, we were done out of that again. Uh, we have flourishing coffee estate for $360. Uh, half share, that was a joke. So we lost that again. And um, so it, 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 it was the other uncles demanding payment. This grandfather doing us out of, the, of our thing. And, and my father was a far-seeing man. You know, Agnes, when in the First World War, rubber. Rubber, yes. Rubber was. Oh, on, he was a far-thinking man, yeah. And he got all of one of the rubber seeds from Brazil, because that, these rubber trees are native to Brazil. And he planted acres and acres of these rubber trees on this coffee plantation. The area where the coffee wasn't really doing well or something. And the Second World War came along. We were in our early teens. I was probably 12, 11. And we were hired by the man who took over the rubber business from the grandfather to, to, to tap these rubber trees and process it and dry it. I could still remember the seeds of rubber. Yes, and we, we produced tons of rubber to the benefit of this guy. Actually, you know, we were. Campbell. Uh, Who? Campbell. Where's well, Campbell? I mean, you were right, it was to see Amber's husband. Well, she... He, but he knew about the processing. Yes. I think nobody else knew how you process rubber. And this guy used to go and collect the um, latex. The latex and the and bu they, buckets. Uh, yeah. And they had a little machine. Had a mill. Nobody else, I think, knew how to do it, but he knew. And then so they he taught us how to do it, and, and we, we, we did it. And you used to play with the seeds. Oh, we used to play like a bitch. Yes. I remember like a bitch. Yeah, oh, seeds. they were beautiful seeds. So, yeah. And they had a, that's a thing about, about them. They would bear a, 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 pod. a pod. And during the heat of the day, midday and one o'clock, they would pop like pistols, like yeah. pistol shots. That's how they all, propagated all the trees, and, and they would pop, and the, and the seeds would fly yeah, yeah. over, you know, a large area. So they would propagate themselves like, like that. It's the most unusual tree. It was a very interesting tree, yeah. Rubber. Now, people are still going into this gold business and stuff. Now, the gold, the gold he he left, or the money he left for you. Um, did that help you out in the end? Well, it was, it was a lot of it. I guess the, the couple of thousand that she got for, for, for all this equipment, she, she was on the page for that, for sure, even though it was, yeah, yeah. in those years things were relatively cheap. So that went into the shop, I suppose. And I would think so. But um, you know what I remember? I remember her. I don't know how it happened, where each one of us had a bank account. I think I told mm. you just something. But when we are all grown up, because people were concerned, well, what's going to happen to these boys? You know, local Johnny is very kind to us. And he said, you, at the dealers, you should buy a, a, a place and move to Georgetown. And I remember we withdrew that money yes. and bought this little house, which the woman refused. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> on on Hartfield Street. Yes, that. yeah. And this, we had to sell it eventually. But that's where that money went to, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But we never lived in that house because the woman. In Guyana, you could just sit in somebody's house and live forever more. <laughs> yeah. 
At least it worked then. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, son in law. Jerry could relate to this story. <laughs> That's a bad love. Yeah, the ups and downs. Yeah. Yes. Now, I mean, of this little family, though, and we're talking about it, I mean, you all, you all progressed, you left, you moved on, you. Yes. You uh, learn things. I mean, you started with this little business that you, as a little boy, were working, and you went into business. Yes. Did, what did you learn? Uh, but I worked. Boy that you but you didn't. You didn't just go into business. You went up in Bartica, and uh, he got sick. He was yes. doing surveying. And yes, I did. They took whatever came. Somebody. Uh, well, the wanted. first job I got was with those same servers that robbed. Yeah, robbed yeah, it. and those too. And, and yes, he worked for them too. The shop, yeah. And um, I worked in the Georgetown office, and and, and it was it was the runabout, the, the 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 guy in charge would go and do this or buy that or go for. And um, I learned the, 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 to write the books because books were kept, proper books, you know, ledgers and journals and whatnot. And before I left there, I was doing the the accounts. Uh, producing balance sheets and everything. So I, I, I learned about accounting there. And then I took a job and worked in the Green Art Forest, mapping the terrain, doing topographical map. I learned to do that too. I, I, and I was very much praised for the work I did. You know, we did maps, you know, showing the, 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 the creeks and the Bumps and the so so the roads could be put into that area to extract the log, but I wasn't qualified, so I was getting peanuts. You know, I would never get anywhere. I, I was aware of that, so I told the boss man that I I, I, would, I would resign. He didn't want me to go. He said, "But you're doing such a good job." I said, "Yeah, but I'm not getting money." And um, I came to Georgetown at the end of June. 1941, no, 21. And, um, 41. Yeah, 41. The war, yeah. And, um, I applied to, to, to Sandwich Parker and Company. And the boss man came out and he, he I had a, rec a recommendation from the boss man at this Serbian. surveying place. <laughs> And he said, you know, I, I know the, the man's name was Mr. Bennett. I remember that name well, Bennett. He said, you know, I, I know Mr. Bennett very well. He said, you know, you, you, you'll hear from us. And within a couple of days, I got a letter through email. He said, please come in. And I went in and, and I got a job. And I worked, that was Sandwich Park. And you get Doda job, right? And then Doda <laughs> joined the company too. And he was highly regarded. He, he did a wonderful job. Yeah, yeah. Well, I did the same. I worked yeah. until I, I, I got myself I, up the ladder. I, I was a manager. And, and, and I was over here about 15 years. And I was the, only the second local Guyanese manager. To that company. You weren't a white man. Because all the managers <laughs> had, had to be Scottish or, or British, you know, to the head of departments. But things were changing and they saw the writing on the wall, so they started to promote. And the first guy they promoted was a guy that I knew very well, but he made a mistake. He borrowed some money and they, and they had to fire him. And then I was promoted. In this place, because he, he was a manager. Mm -hmm. He was the first manager, Chaplain Gordike. So I'm imagining this, I'm imagining though that a connection between what you did as a child, the values of learned, the hard work that you said, Mom, you didn't know he was giving you, you had to work. No, no, I but don't this, think any this, of us had to but, tell But that. anybody who works hard, and, and then the honesty, and, and all those kind of things, are things you learn in that shop on the Palmer Road. Well, it was a bit, the, 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 the first work, you know, that involved, you know, doing a service for, for, for the public, so buying, you know, 
and they like to have their, 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 let's say the black people, the Asian people, they like this voice. Yes, uh, you know, I mean, well, he was the quiet trouble. one, but those used to poke fun at them, but you could tell they enjoyed coming. I always remember on Steamer Day, mm -hmm. like those Evans boys, yes, the young men, they would come and help. Because, the, because these two boys, they couldn't boys, do it. These yeah. were balls of sugar, <laughs> weighing 250 pounds. Yeah. And no way the little boys could handle that sort of thing. No, no. And these strong black fellas would come. Oh, and laughing and laughing. Lift, lift the bag and stack them in the shop. We had back the sacks of bags. Yeah, but then Mama treated them well, too. When I said, well, I remember you did. You know, she was so courteous to them. She would call mm. Mr. Ben and Mr. Lindor mm. and, and that type of thing. And when they, they had a church, they used to go to. Used to come and borrow Concord, remember? Mm. And she never, it's when I came with the Susan's and I heard her saying, Oh, I'll do some good and do some good. And my mother was doing, I didn't know, she, you know, I just thought this is the way you live. Yeah. And uh, and that's the way. Oh, but I'll never forget this. You probably wouldn't remember it. We thought this was the, sp the strangest thing in the world. So these, uh, let's call them, they were black people. And they would live together, common law, and then they decided that maybe I can buy a pig and roast it and we get married. Remember? Used to have these this wonderful weddings <laughs> when um, mom used to say the bride did the gods, you know? <laughs> yeah. The bride. <laughs> anyway, the bride did the gods. You deliver this man. <laughs> <laughs> you see, she's going to get up to the coffee. Mm -hmm. However, they decide to get married. So they have a party. And she appreciates hard like anything, but she was not a real mm -hmm. and, and that and that type of thing. And so they had um I, they just say booba. They decided this is gonna be a great party. And whenever they come to our house, our house was open with a railing. Mm -hmm. You could see she had a lovely dinner set. A lo remember that mm -hmm. big dish? Mm -hmm. That big dish? Mm -hmm. And I didn't know Turin. Turin yeah. The Turin uh, a with, wedding present. With big platters on the eat it. Yeah. it he said, well, I came to borrow that dish for my wedding. <laughs> and we, I mean, me and a child, it's like, oh, normal, Sam. How could you go and buy? Because we were afraid to even look at this thing that yeah. we would break it. Yeah, well, we lent them the, 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 and they brought it back. He mm -hmm. thinks you're going to have a wedding. You must have a nice terrain. It was white. Um, white, white. White. So it, was, it was part of our wedding, a fart piece. I think it was the same uncles that given to them at the wedding. Mm -hmm. But I remember how impressed I was to have the nerve to go to somebody's mm -hmm. house that came to borrow that dish. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, well. Anyways.